I'm the chair of the board of the Aperio Foundation. Um, coming to you live this morning from Western Canada. Um, so it's a little earlier in the day for me than it is for, for some of you, though I know our days of, times of day are all over the place these days. Um, so this morning, um, I think we have community presentations for most of this morning. Um, but before we get started on that, um, we have a couple of exciting announcements to make. Um, the first thing I think we need to, to do again, as always, is thank our sponsors, um, particularly in this year, um, as we have had to flip to the online conference. We're incredibly grateful where I think other conferences sponsors maybe haven't stuck with them. Um, ours absolutely have and we couldn't be, be more pleased. So thank you to Learning Experiences, Longsight and EBF. It's very much appreciated. Um, a few reminders for everybody. Um, lightning talks, please sign up. Um, the uh, link is here and I believe that the link will be pasted into the chat simultaneously. Um, but if anybody needs a couple of seconds to screenshot that, I'll give you that just now. And do sign up for the lightning talks. And the other thing to remember is um, in the uh, in the Sakai instance that we're using, if you want an ad hoc room, perhaps to have a, a kind of ad hoc spur of the, the minute meeting um, with somebody that you've met chatting to in a session, you can use the ad hoc rooms function, which is in the left hand bar. So please do remember that and create your own drop in spaces as well. Okay, um, one of the things we get to do this morning and I get the pleasure of doing, is announcing our Atlas Award winners and our Perio Fellows. Um, our Atlas Award winners celebrate innovation with open source. Um, we have two. Um, and our Perio Fellows, for those of you who've been part of our community for a while, you'll know that we, um, we nominate pelo fellows every year um, and we celebrate leadership and advocacy in open source um, with those awards. So, um, our Atlas Committee, thank you very much to everybody who served um, in helping us to make these choices. It's, I'm sure, never an easy choice. So thank you to Terry, Wilma, Terry, Davey, Jamie Lynn and Rob. Um, very much appreciated. So our Atlas Award winners, there were two this year. The first um, was from uh, Duke Kunshan University for a course called China in the World. And this was taught by Dr. Ben Van Overmeyer, Assistant Pre Professor of Religious Studies. And then this year we also had uh, um, uh, a second award, uh, Institutional Remote Learning Initiative Award, which went to Walsh University. And that went to a team of two, Jennifer Louisiana and Mary Beth Me Messner. Um, and please forgive me, I'm having a little problem with my Skype, but um, I wanted to pull up some information about the award winners as well. There's a full news article on the Aperio website, um, but I'm having problems pulling that up on screen whilst doing Zoom simultaneously. So uh, there, are, there is more information about both of these awards on the Aperio website though. Um, and if I can pull the information up, I will. Um, I think we are, we are running close to time though, so I'm going to congratulate the two winners and I'm going to move on and um, announce our Aperio Fellows. And we have four Fellows this year. Um, I noticed some names on the call as I saw the attendees coming in. <laughs> um, I hope by now everybody's in. Um, but our Fellows for this year are Shoji Kajita from Kyoto University. Um, for his work on Karuta, Uportal and Sakai. Christiane Murphy from Unicon for her work on Open Equella and Uportal. And Bernardo Garcia Villa from Eternos de Formacion for work on Sakai. And Josh Wilson from Longsight, also from, um, also from, Sound dropped out there. Um, also for work on Sakai. Um, and I'd like to give a, a special thanks to Anthony White from the University of Michigan, um, who has convened the Fellows panel. I'm sure this is never a, an easy task every year making these selections. So many thanks to Shoji, Christian, Bernardo, and Josh, and many congratulations. 
Um, and if I don't think we have uh, an article about them on the Aperio website yet, for obvious reasons, um, but we will have more information, background, biographies um, up on the Aperio website. Um, and we look forward to uh, the work they do over the year. Okay, that uh, I think I have rattled through in lightning speed <laughs> and I've managed to get the, the chat up. Um, uh, yeah, thank you and congratulations to everybody. Absolutely. And uh, the lightning talk sign up is there as well. So yes, a virtual round of applause for everybody. 100%. I'm not, is there, a, is there a clapping hands button in Zoom? I haven't spotted one yet. But <laughs> I did it in under 10 minutes as well. I really did. I rattled through that. Absolutely. Um, let me, uh, I'm just going to stop screen sharing and I'm going to turn on my video. Good morning, everybody. Um, and I will get the link to the Atlas Award winners and put that into the chat for you as well. Oh, somebody's found the clap. Excellent. And here we have the background on the Atlas Award winners. I've pasted in the link to the um, Aperio website for you there as well. Um, Yes, and the Institutional Remote Learning Initiative Award, I should have mentioned, was, um, was designed to recognise the efforts of organisations who responded to the COVID pandemic. Um, and Walsh University in particular uh, responded in a, a very uh, comprehensive way. Um, we looked at things like learning effectiveness, scale, access, faculty satisfaction, student satisfaction. Um, I think there are any number of institutions who who probably um, could, could claim this kind of award, but um, no, Walsh has definitely stood out for us. So congratulations, folk. With one minute to go, I'm sure people need to drop off this call and jump into their next one for um, whichever sessions you plan to uh, visit this morning. So uh, will Walsh present on their work? Excellent question. Um, I'm not sure if they are here. Um, they're scheduled on Thursday. Thank you, Kathy. <laughs> I haven't uh, memorized the program yet. <laughs> so yeah, have a, look in, have a look in the Sakai site and bookmark that one. There we are, 9.50 in the morning. Okay, everybody, you need to jump off of this call and jump onto your next one. Thank you for your time. Congratulations again to our award winners. Enjoy, have a good day.